Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Howdy do. Thank you for subscribing, especially all you new springtime subscribers. This is usually where we get a lot of uh, you curious spring uh, fishermen. You're trying to get into the world of dangling, and I love it. I, lo I love teaching you guys new things, and I love exploring. Exploring, experiencing outdoor greatness. That's good. That's good right there. The great outdoors, outdoor greatness. We explore it right here, you guys. So, uh, I kind of like that. That might be the new channel tagline, dadgum. Because I don't just do bass fishing. Uh, that's obviously where I got into uh, sport and uh, developed a career and everything. But I love to fish. I love to fish for everything. Anything that pulls. But right now is really where, where a lot of people are getting into bass fishing. Because it's hot. Bass are starting to move up shallow. That's where... That's where you see big bass caught up in the shallows this time of year. That's why everybody gets so excited, including me. I'm still like a kid during this time. So today I'm going to do a little creek dangling. I'm probably gonna end up taking out the boat uh, this afternoon, but right now I wanna go check a creek. I uh, kinda was doing some meandering the other day and came across this creek on, on a trail. And it was muddy, but I think it's normally clear. So I want to go out there, take a couple of rods, just kind of trek. I got a backpack on right now. Just a little little bit of tackle in there, and I'm I'm gonna go see what this creek looks like. So let's get out there and see if she's clear, muddy, or if it's got fish in it or not. Made it here. I've got a couple of spinning rods, a couple of favorite jackhammers, ready to put the hammer down, hopefully. And then back here I've just got, you know, a little pack. It's actually my hunting pack not very big doesn't hold too much and I just put together you know a couple of boxes and I've got uh, new bass Bo bass mafia boxes by the way guys if you haven't heard uh, we have Guggen squad bass mafia boxes not in this size yet but we have the 3700 size fully sealed latch with Guggen green with uh, inserts already applied but this is one of the small ones perfect size for uh, you know pond hopping I actually use them for a lot of my crappie tackle and then just stuff like this so I've got a little jerk bait in there I've got uh, some small hooks I've got a couple spinner baits just got you know I don't know what I'm gonna get into so if you watch my last video where I was fishing with flair we were actually catching bass and then a couple of really nice crappie up in the same spots up shallow and I have really been wanting to target crappie shallow ever since me and my dad got into those monster black crappie up on Rainy Lake in Canada up shallow, you know, just bank fishing, throwing throwing little uh, jigs up there and uh, you could throw spinners up there, little little small road runners and things like that for crappie this time of year. So I'm going to be armed uh, for the spring dangle. If I'm bass fishing, start catching crappie on crankbaits or jerkbaits or whatever, I'm going to break out the crappie rod and I might just fish for them to begin with because they're delicious. I've started fishing for crappie in the last few years and you know I don't dedicate enough time to it. I really, really enjoy it, especially when I go out with my friends. So I'm going to try to figure them out a little bit more and give you guys uh, some of the information I figure out. So I'm armed for both. Whatever's back in here, you never know. Oh boy, you're getting tangled in everything. Okay, well we made it. Just a hair muddy. Looks like I'm literally sitting on top of a beaver dam. Perfect place for the old uh, copperhead to be sitting. Just have a rooster tail tied on, so we'll start with this. This is looking like it's gonna be a weightless bait situation. So I'm gonna keep moving. Tie one of those on. Okay. Folks might know it as the old beetle spin. And on this guy, I'm gonna take this death stalker off. I'm gonna put it on a Nico hook. Katana Nico hook. This is uh, something I got in my MTB box. A little finesse rigging option here. 10 pound Guggen fluorocarbon leader little finesse hook right there that is such a simple rig spinning setup and then I've even got a little ring here this ring is perfect for putting on the slim shake Just slide that up till about the not halfway because it's too skinny halfway you want to go up a little bit farther on the meat and you take that Nico hook rig 
boom perfect so that that slim shake's not gonna fall off okay first cast with the slim shake i 100 percent just attracted a bass in just barely saw it i got a really high position where i can see and i've got my polarized lenses on and a bass just came up in this corner i just did a little little test cast kind of worked it high at the surface this fish is just coming up to make a bed it looks like oh he's got it oh he had it Ooh, daggum i don't know how that happened we got a mess i don't know what that fish really was definitely seemed like some bedding behavior though it's lining up with the conditions baby first bass on the old beetle hit it right underneath me right on the bank a few little bass running around back here okay another hook up looks like a white bass this is what kind of goes on here guys these uh these white bass they need current to spawn so they will run up in these creeks just like a bass will, except they're really looking for more current than calm water. And uh, this is just kind of a little bend right here. I'm just gonna throw this beetle spin out, see if I can maybe hawk another one on this thing. Oh, there he is. Oh, man, that felt good at first. Not so much now. Unfortunately, that's a gonaroo. I am gonna tie on a different little bait right here. I'm gonna try that little square bill right there, see what that does. Oh, there we go. Hooked up. It's like another white bass. It's kind of floating it up. Wah bam! Uh, that's a big one. That must be a female. Uh, maybe just feeding up. Pretty cool, y'all. When they really get to running up in the creeks, you can absolutely slay them. This is why I love creek fishing. I mean, you could just, yeah, I could catch a catfish right now. I could look into a big old bass, crappie. You just don't know. Hooked up again. Another white bass. Oh, come here. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. Oh, come here, baby. Oh, golly. Man, that's a fun fight. Look how fat. Not keeping you today. Out in the middle of this channel. Oh my gosh, there they are. Must be a ton of them right here. Look at that now. Ah, there go. Giants too. May have to go get my stringer, baby. Oh, it's going off. Going off. Oh, there's a male. See that? That milky white substance right there. That is uh, what you think it is. That's how they make the babies. Pretty immediate reaction there. Looks like they're uh, sitting out in this channel. Oh, they're coming to get it on top. I mean, there's, they're, mm-hmm. This is what happens when you use like six pound breed you know what this is this is seriously like some it's like seven and a half pound breed or something cast a country mile but it's wrapped up oh really bad like a nice soft cast and stop it right there there we go it's gonna get pounded boom got him wow this is pretty easy here i found him I found him running up here in the creek God, these are just thick, thick, thick. All right, since I don't have my stringer, I'm gonna catch a couple more of these guys and then I'm gonna keep bouncing around. This is really fun though on this tackle. I got these rods for finesse fishing in Canada a few years ago and they are phenomenal. The favorite jackhammer series. I actually could use this rod even crappie fishing. It's a six foot 
light action or medium light action perfect for uh for drop shots and just throwing weightless stuff and it's good for a lot of different finesse purposes boom right there boom swirling on it boom <laughs> never use really light braid when cranking just don't do it that should be the lesson of the day tip of the day don't do that come on baby Give it the old smack. Boom! Golly, that was a big one. I love it when you pause a crankbait and just you see like the slack just get knocked in it. Oh god, it's flashing at it. If y'all aren't putting pauses in uh, your your techniques on any any kind of crankbait, do it. I mean, I know it's it's kind of a reel and retrieve thing, but oh god, it. it as you can see, it just makes the fish react to your bait. You know, they, they look at it, they see it, they, they even follow it. They're almost like a cat, you know? And then they see it just pause for a second. They're like, oh man, it's wounded. I can, I can grab that easily. This is my chance. It's, it triggers something in their little, their little brains where they, they have to at least take a strike at it. Oh my gosh, that was a large mouth right there. Shoot. Oh gosh, he grabbed it. Saw that little guy. Mm. Another one. Man, there's just a certain direction they like it. Man, I love figuring fish out like that. I hate slinging fish and getting dirt on them though. It's embarrassing for me to do that with you guys, but I got such light tackle, man. By the way, if you guys want to check out this rod, I will link it down below. You won't be disappointed in it. It's a, it's a higher end reel or rod, but if you're looking for something really sensitive uh, to throw lightweight stuff, that's where a lot of people invest their money up north in uh, a lot of those lakes is for that. Not as much down here in Texas. I mean, I, I know the power of it and I, I utilize it, but it is a game changer when trying to detect those light bites when you're throwing finesse stuff and even just getting it out there. You know, I can absolutely bomb this this little thing with light line 500 size reel, I'm not even using a thousand size reel. So it is a, it's a really good finesse combo. Rod tip down, let it get down. Boom, hit it. Ah, I love you little guys. I could put you on the dinner table, but I'm not just so I know I'm gonna catch my limit next time. After I'm done slaying the bass this spring, better believe I'm gonna get after those in the summer. Oh yeah, this is way clearer up here. There's just so much brush. Oh my God, there's one right here. There's one right here next to me. Mm-hmm, oh, he's taking a gander. They're gonna gander at me too. Mm -hmm. Exciting time of year, but they can also be very finicky to catch right now until they get locked on. Well, we are definitely in the midst of a lot of fish. I am just staring at dozens of small bass moving through here and they're not here to feed can't even get these little guys to eat my worm. Made it back to the treehouse, y'all. Boy, let me tell you something, it's gotten heated up and I've gone to the flip flops and the shorts. Uh, the fishing up in that creek, pretty good. I mean, the white bass action, hot. I haven't really done that a whole lot, to be honest with you, like fishing up in the creeks for white bass, lot of fun. Um, but what I saw with all those bass up there moving up in the shallows, literally starting to make their beds so cool and I, I was not successful catching them i mean they were really getting locked on uh or you know in that phase where they're starting to find their beds not really locked on yet so uh, i didn't see any really true paired but what that makes me want to do is just go out to the main lake so i've got silver bullet hooked up right now and we're just going to go head out there i've only got a couple of hours i just came back to see amy and uh baby Amy and Stephanie and uh, it's date night got to go on a date got two hours to go try to catch some fish let's do it I love fish look at this blue heron coming in hot 
blue heron that like button for that rack focus to the blue heron mid sentence listen I love bass fishing. I love fishing for the bank. I love fishing in creeks. I really do. Uh, when I get in my boat, I love that too. But uh, particularly fishing out of the boat that I have now and everything's laid out. And I got all my new tackle boxes and I got all my gig baits and all that stuff. Uh, I, I'm like, really excited to be out on the boat right now, even though I don't have very much time. So here we go. We got an hour and 45 minutes to try to catch a few bass. <laughs> It's crazy, y'all. Oh, I like to go fast. There it is. There's something. Doesn't feel like a fish, but I got it. Oh yeah. Not a freaking fish at all. Oh yeah, we got a fishing pole, baby. We got ourselves a daggum rattle trapping dangler. Oh boy, what kind of we got here? That is such a dandy. There you go, folks. Catch of the day. Uh, looks like a, um, probably looks like a Bass Pro Special. Yeah, felt a little weird give it that had a little fight in it what a nasty situation I'm just gonna cut that whole thing off and we'll just start that over crankbait is now in my hand uh, you know what I'll be a good person take this out of the lake there we go catch of the day Y'all, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end it right here. Oh, 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 oh man. Okay, I got a trash can right here. I'm gonna stick this combo in. My gosh, that's the only thing I caught. That is freaking sad. Well, I do want to give a congratulations to Papa LFD. If you guys are new to this channel, uh, that is my dad, LFD, Lake Fork Dad. He is, uh, he has been on fork today and I got a text from him and he caught a seven, he said seven-ish pounder, a big old chunk. And he's a big dude. So he's holding up a big fish. I assure you that's a Mondo. And I believe he was out there fishing with one of his, his buddies uh, that lives out there right now. So congratulations LFD on uh, second day of spring, catching a big old Mondo, probably one of your top 10 biggest bass ever. Nicely done. And I do want to let you guys know about something else too that I'm going to be doing through the spring because so many people are looking for information and I, you know, the vlogs, it's a lot of fishing fun. It's mostly just me having fun. I'm going out and I'm fishing for any kind of species. Sometimes I get lost in the action. I'm just having fun. I'm excited. You know, that's, that's part of what I, the biggest compliment I get uh, when I meet you guys is, man, you got me back into fishing or man, you got me into fishing. I learned this and then I, I went after it. And uh, it's mainly from a lot of my older videos where I just did tips. And anyway, I like to just have fun now on the vlogs. But what I do want to do is give you guys more information and I'm going to uh, leave a link down below for my Instagram. And on that, uh, on my Instagram, a lot of you follow me on Instagram, it's mostly just, you know, pics and stuff. But what I'm gonna start doing is posting short videos uh, on more detailed information that I don't wanna put in uh, the vlogs that, that bores like 80% of people, uh, that it's just a lot of technical stuff, but I do wanna give those nice little juicy tidbits on my Instagram. So, follow me there, link is down below. I gotta go get on a date with OSG. I love you guys, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe right here so you don't miss the next dangle. And I'll see you on the next one.